Hello everybody, I'm Jimmy the Saint, and welcome back to Die Young. Thanks for tuning in. Welcome back, survivors. Here we are, right where we left off at the Cliff Ruins. Um, I think the fast travel point is right below us here. Yeah, it should be down the hill as a fast travel point. But what I wanted to do, there was an update today, a quick update. Um, they improved some of the graphical options and settings and things like that. Um, they also added a new recipe. Um, let me see. It was in here. Yeah, a new backpack. So you can actually craft a backpack upgrade. We're going to have to look for hide. And I'm, I'm pretty sure where to get it. You can get it from uh, some of the animals... Uh, in the game. Like, you can collect things. They drop loot, basically. You can loot the bodies um, of defeated enemies now. That's one of the things they added in this update. Um, but there is an area we have not found yet, and I want to go find it today. Um, why is it still showing that exclamation point? Oh, there we go. That was the key to unlock the elevator. It was still showing up for some reason. Anyways, we gotta go find the Executioner's Den. Uh, and I have an idea of where... Oh, where it's at. I'm not just. I'm just not sure how to get there. We've seen it before. Uh, it just wasn't actually there. If you know what I mean. Um, there's an enemy up here somewhere. I can keep my eye out for this guy with a crossbow. Um, we've kind of been overlooking it uh, several episodes back, but it wasn't actually in the game yet. It was just a little blocked off area. Oh crap! There's the crossbow guy. Um, we need to get through the stone ruins to get there, though. Let me see if I can slip past this guy. The stone ruins. The stone pillars is what I meant to say. So we're leaving the cliff ruins, going through the stone pillars. I'm going to avoid all the enemies out here. Everything trying to kill me. Let's see. This is... I think this is the right direction here. Should pop up. There should be another save point up here somewhere. Am I over? Ah, there it is. Alright, so let's just do a quick save right here. And head along this path back this way, and I think that's where the Executioner's Den, or at least where you can overlook to see it, is back this direction. I need to refill my canteen here as well. well I think that's new, the animation where she actually dips down to collect the water. I don't remember her doing that before. Let me fill up my canteen. Alright, canteen is full. And I think the Executioner's Den is down there. I think. It may be around this rock right here. We're going to try and get over there and cross that wooden bridge. Let's see. I think we need to get down carefully without breaking a leg here. Is this the way... No, where's the way down? Ah, this looks like it here. Yeah. I think if you remember in the a couple episodes back, we actually came around this way. Um, let's see if this is the correct path to get us where we need to go now. This is looking familiar yet. They keep changing things. Like every update, there's a little bit changed here and there. And so it's hard to keep track of exactly where we are. Let's see. Man, oh man, what a view. Uh, I think that goes back down into the Apricot Valley right there. So what we need to do is get up on that wooden platform, I think to get around the stone pillars to the area we need to be at. Yeah, actually, if you go that way, I think it takes you to that... I'm mistaken. It maybe may takes you to the elevator. Oh, yeah, by default, if you go that way towards the elevator, it also takes you towards the Apricot Valley if you keep going. How do I get to that wooden platform? Did I miss the... the way up? Is this up? There we go. All right, this is where we need to be. Yes. All right, cool. Let's see if we can get to that little wooden platform here and work our way around the stone pillars to the area where the Executioner's Den should be at. Up, up, up. Let's go. Oh, yeah. Yeah, the blood everywhere. Yeah. See, this blood was not all there before the last time we came through here. Um, See, so yeah, this is where they've added the Executioner's Den. We're on the right track now. 
Up, up, up. Very careful. Do not want to fall. It's a long way down. I hope he's not at home. I hope he's still out there in the... In the, uh... Yes, this is the area. I hope he's still out there in the temple ruins. And see, we could not get in here through this area the last time, I don't think. Let's open this door and see if it's... I need a key. Crap! See, I still can't get through here. That's... That's what happened the last time I was here. I needed a key, so I couldn't go anywhere. I, I've been here before, but I thought this is the way into the Executioner's Den. All right, I'll have to run around and... Maybe I get the key from the Executioner itself. Gosh, are we going to have to go kill him? I'll go back to a fast travel point and see. I'll try that. Ah, so here's where you can get hides. These are the uh, wolves in the home oak thicket that were... Uh, you just come across them and they had been shot by the crossbowmen. And you can use your knife to get hides off of these. That should be enough now. Um, why does it still say an E over it? Like I could pick it up or something. Um, so can I craft that backpack now? I should have three hides, okay. Why can't I craft it though? There's still another recipe I've not unlocked, it's saying, too. I've got three bindings, I've got three cloth, I've got three hide. Huh. I don't know, it's not letting me... Oh, now I see. It says I actually need four hides, but I can only carry three at a time. So there's no way for me to be able to make this without getting a increase in the amount of... Uh, things I could carry here in my materials crafting. Uh, I might have missed something previously. Oh, B, look at that. <clears throat> what do we got here? Quest added. Ha <laughs> ha! Cool. Allison, I don't know how the bloody hell you've ended up here. If you're reading this message, then find a safe place and hide. This little trip is gone gone to pot. Don't wander around. Don't approach anybody. These people are dodgy and dangerous. They're kidnapping people. I don't know why. It's a miracle I'm alive. Sean, Liz, I hope you guys are okay too. The person who freed me from the well... I'd been chucked in and left a map. It points to the tower at the summit here. <clears throat> I've got equipment. I'll climb from here. I'm a mess, but no doubt I'll feel a lot safer up there than I do down here with these wankers. Alright, so what quest is that? We got... Climbing the rock wall? No, we already did that. Find the climber. Another guy kidnapped and then freed. He's also headed for the high tower. Okay, let's see if I can make that my active quest then. And see, there's a note. That note was attached to the wall right here, and there's an arrow pointing up. I don't see how I'm going to get up there. But basically, there were these little red climbing arrows painted on the rocks. Um, and I followed them to that. There were three or four of them I noticed along here. And I followed them up to this one. But I don't see a way up from here. Huh. How would we climb? <laughs> uh, there's nothing to grab a hold of. There's Maybe this is something they'll add later? Probably. They probably just set the, set the spot for it and they're going to add it in later, I guess, maybe. Um, it's hard to say. They change a lot of things with every update in this game, but yeah, that'd be cool to scale that wall and check out what's up there, because you can clearly see something way up there at the top. Like, maybe a chest or... I don't know what that is. I guess it could be a chest hanging there on the side of the mountain, but at least you can see something up there. Anyways, enough getting sidetracked. Let's go find this executioner's den. <laughs> All right, this is where we're going to start our search for the uh, Executioner's Chamber, Executioner's Tomb, or whatever you want to call it. Um, this is the big sign right as you climb up the um, that really long climbing section. Let's see, where was it at? It was right back here. That really, really tough climbing section where you have to have the climbing gloves to get up here. And basically, you come from that direction. You find the climbing gloves and you come up here. You make this long climb up the hill. This is the one with all the little markings all over it. The yellow, blue, and green markings all over the wall. Kind of guide your path. Um, and we're going to start our search right here. Um, I am going to go this way, I think, and see if we can find... 
Ow. The little spot I'm looking for. It's an overlook. It may be right back here somewhere. There it is. There it is. Yes, this is where I was looking for. Alright. This is where I think it is at. Well, this is the second area I thought it might be. I looked at another area and it was not there. This, I think, is it. This has changed since the last time I've been over here, too, so... This may very well be it. Oh, yeah. I think we're on the right track here. Oh, this is creepy. <laughs> Let's get lots of snacks. Oh, there. Glare, though. What do we got in the document? Order number 27. Target. Male, 32. Dark brown hair. Dressed in community clothing. Location. Area of deprivation. Objective. Execution. Priority high. Last seen running towards south of Coastal Tower. Possibly hiding in the sunflower field, the temple ruins, or the abandoned houses. Eliminate any foreigner that could have been in contact with the target. Brother number two. Now that was the execution order for the guy, I think, that stole the keys to the bull gate and we had to go find him, I, I think. Could be. Probably. Maybe. Oh, I refound the climbing gloves. Um, throw them down. I don't actually need them. Um, yep. Yep, there's blood everywhere. There's the bull altar. Another document. Listen, doesn't say, Dear son, the brothers have informed me of the torments that agonize you in these days of the punishment you inflict on yourself, of the self-destructive thoughts that persecute you in the night. My son, I tell you, fear not. Do not waver in the faith you've kept in the community and in your father. I still remember the day I welcomed you into our family, young and lost, ravaged from a life corrupted by dissolute, selfish parents who were plagued by modern society. Neglect in their roles as educators, they would put their careers, their vices, before you. We will never give enough thanks to your dear aunt, our sister, for taking you away from a dark destiny and donating one of our most beloved children. Since her, passing, since her painful passing, I wanted to raise you like a special son. I saw you... I saw in you the strong man who would defend our community from the dangers of the capitalist world from which I have myself have saved and protected you. Fear not, your hand is guided by mine. Your actions have my most absolute blessing. Always remember, your family trusts your strength, your father trusts in your faith. Brother number one. Wow. Wow. <laughs> wow. Was that a med kit? Cool. I'm not sure what that little funky little glare is off of everything in here. It's a weird lighting effect. I mean, there's blood on the ceiling. There's blood everywhere. Look at all the little scratch marks. So is that the number of victims he's got? Is that 5, 10, 21? And the bull idol. Oh, wow. Oh gosh, it's so bright out here. Where are we at? Oh, this is it! This is the other side of the door! Oh, now it's unlocked! See, I came to this door, and it was locked, and I'm like, oh, well, I need a key, I guess. I don't know how to get in here. So I went all the way back around and found the other side. Cool, cool, cool. All right, well, we found the Executioner's Den, guys. Thank you so much for watching. If you haven't already, please subscribe to the channel. Hit the thumbs up button if you like this video. Post me any comments or questions down below. And we'll see you on the next one. Thank you so much for watching.